Okay, everybody, here we go. It's me, Gregor Manorino. Tuesday, June 18, 2024. People, I missed every single one of you. I mean that from the heart. I am glad to be back, but we have work to do, and I mean we have work to do. So let's get up to speed. Let's back up just a little bit. You and I have been witnessing a phenomenon occur, something that we said right here would likely happen. That is, there is a mysterious entity out here, and by mysterious, I am joking. This is the Federal Reserve. They're in here buying, buying it all, especially debt. The Fed is keeping rates suppressed right now on a massive scale, despite so many other dynamics in play. There is one that we need to focus on, and that is this, and it's affecting risk in the market. Again, the Fed is buying all the debt. This is their goal, to buy it all, and you know that. What has been going on here over the past few weeks, and you and I have been following this clearly, this is the Manorino Market Risk Indicator. Let's just look here from January. The trajectory was obviously higher. Risk was rising, 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 rising. The market was kind of doing well, then kind of plateaued for a while. But now, look at what's going on here. We have taken on uh, this new this new price channel, this new price action channel with regard to risk in the market. Again, the MMRI uses a few factors to gauge risk in the market. And clearly, with all this debt buying by the Fed, Risk is dropping. This is going to maintain the risk on environment, meaning cash making its way into the stock market. I believe that this is going to go on up until the presidential selection. Now, we have to talk more about this. I know I got some interesting uh, correspondence from a bunch of you regarding what Mike Maloney, most of you know who he is, said with regard to the election slash selection, and we're going to cover that in just a moment. But for now, I want you to pay attention to what's happening. In my opinion, this is going to continue, and I drew this green arrow so you can see how this change has occurred. All right, If this continues, and I believe it's going to, the propping up of this market is key with regard to the presidential selection. The stock market is the number one predictor of who is going to be selected as president. If, in fact, this market gets propped up, and I clearly believe it's going to here, meaning the environment is going to be maintained, risk on cash has to be coming out of certain things, like, for example, gold, silver, Cryptocurrencies as of late. Crude oil is a different one. We'll talk more about crude because crude is getting a bit higher. Crude oil is the lifeblood of the system. You all know that. When crude oil gets propped up, not only does it help the entire energy sector of the market, it also helps the banks, the financial sector. Now, keep the banks in mind as well because we are in a full-blown crisis with regard to the banking sector as a whole, and that's something else that Mike Maloney brought up. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Anyway, so follow this. It's free to you, free to everybody. Link in description of this video. I believe we will see this number fall, meaning the risk on environment because the Fed's buying all the debt is going to be not just maintained, but accelerated as we get closer to the selection here. You understand? Uh, and this is the Fed playing right into what they always do. They always support the uh, the current administration, and that's a fact. And right now, <laughs> there's a lot going on. Let, let us move forward from this. But again, keep your eyes on this. This is going to fall, meaning, meaning you got to stay long this market here. You got to be, anyone who's telling you to get out of the market right now and believes that the market's going to crash today or tomorrow does not understand how cash is moving through this market. We, you and I, have been so far ahead of the curve on this. I mean, no one's been as more, more accurate than you and I with regard to this market and where it's going to go. And we've been, <laughs> we've been in the right spots here. And with regard to this environment where the stock market is going to get propped up on massive amounts of Fed debt buying, obviously being long the market is key. The real key here is to take advantage of commodities in this environment. Again, when you have this kind of an engineered environment, 
That means that other assets are going on sale. Does this make sense to you? It should. Commodities, more specifically, these. Gold and silver. And, and, and also, people, look, I know how a lot of you feel about cryptocurrency, but I can't stress this enough to you. In my opinion, you need to have some of this in your portfolio. Um, if you had to pick one, I'm going to tell you which one it is. It's Bitcoin. Why? Because it's the mommy. It's the one everybody knows. It may not be the one with the possibly the largest gains moving forward, but that's the mommy. Okay. So, um, and there are many ways you can gain exposure to, to Bitcoin here. Um, anyway, let us, let, us, let us move forward. I want to back up to what something that this, this freaking creature, Janet Yellen, it thing, vomitous mess said. This is a title from just, just on the 13th, just a few days ago here. So this is what she had to say, that the United States debt burden is sustainable at the current level. So first of all, we know that's not true. Debts and deficits ballooning like we've never seen before. This mechanism here is massively currency negative, uh, and we're seeing the effects of that around the world. That is inflation. It's not just relegated to the United States. Now, the fact that she's telling you that this is sustainable, notice the word here. Does that does that ring a bell? Because that's the same thing that Ben Bernanke said during the financial crisis, that if this, everything is sustainable, it's okay. It turned out to be not true. This is not true either. This Janet Yellen thing, vomitous mass, realizes that this is going to hyper-balloon moving forward. Um, so the polar opposite of what she says here is true. So what does that mean again for you? Bet against the debt. Become your own central bank. Hold hard assets, gold, especially silver. Gain exposure to commodities. I wanted to bring that up. It's super important. With regard to crude oil, this is um, no surprise again to anyone that follows this blog. Crude oil is the lifeblood of the system. Okay, all this, these issues with OPEC and production cuts, just ignore it all, okay? Crude oil, commodities are priced in dollars. The dollar is under attack, along with every other central bank issue. Note, they're going to suck the purchasing power, power out of the currencies faster, which means your life is getting much harder moving forward. But the stock market is a whole other ballgame. Who really owns the stock market, people? It's the one and two percenters, and they are going to benefit from this. We need to mimic what central banks do and what the one and two percenters do. You understand? If we do this, we can't possibly lose, and I promise to keep you on the right side of that. Now, with regard to that whole kind of a situation, I want you to pay attention to this. So Citigroup is saying look for $3,000 gold within a year. Look underneath here. U.S. May budget deficit soars to $347 billion. Is that a surprise to you if you follow this blog? No, because that's the way it's going to go. Debts and deficits are going to hyper-balloon. As long as the stock market remains propped up and people are looking at their investment plans and their 401ks, they're millionaires on paper, maybe multi-millionaires on paper. Everything is okay. They don't give a damn about anything else. But there is something else lurking underneath all this. There's multiple things. But here's one I want to bring to your attention again. This, this is something that uh, several of you have brought to my attention. Hey, Greg, what do you think about this statement by Mike Maloney? I'm going to tell you what I think about this. Um, you can forget about it. Okay, there is no... We are in a full-blown banking crisis, so Mike Maloney is correct on that. It's interesting. I believe there is another banking crisis. If he doesn't know that for a fact, then Mike Maloney is obviously way off base here. We are in it right now, and you and I called this before anybody else. The system is... Look... The mainstream media is not allowing you to know what's going on here. Loan defaults across the board are skyrocketing. These, the financial institutions have their balance sheets overloaded with bad debt. But again, you're going to pay for it. And the system is being consolidated. The fact is, Mike Maloney is correct. We, well, we're in a banking crisis, and he says he believes. He should have said he knows, okay? But the fact of the matter is, is we will not see. There is no way, in my opinion, that we're going to see a banking crisis unfold prior to the presidential selection. It's unfortunate that he used the election. There will be no election. There is no election. It's a selection. And uh, the more of you get hip to that, the better off we're all going to be. That's a fact. Now, let me just say something else. I would, ex I would expect that... It's very possible 
that we will see another crisis get worse or be created out of nothing as we move into the presidential selection, like another scandemic. Obviously, we're going to get expanding war here. Uh, another reason to pull cash into the now. But again, people must be distracted. They can't, under, they can't be led to know the underlying issue here, that the financial system, the banking system, is not only in full crisis, but it's coming apart right now. It's coming apart by design because the current system is being deconstructed. The current system is being deconstructed, and you all know this, we've been following, we've been covering this repeatedly as of late, because they have to rebuild the system in a way that will benefit them, not you and I. You understand? This, this is what I'm telling you. You and I have been so far ahead of the curve on all this. So forget about a banking crisis being exposed here. In fact, I believe it's going to be covered up even more so as we move towards the presidential selection. But that does not mean that we're not going to see some kind of an, another crisis to make the creature Bidenstein vomitous mass look good here. Oh, he's taking control. He's a real leader. This is all engineered. Everything that's happened to us and is going to happen to us moving forward, none of it, not even one fraction of 1% of it is by accident, not a comedy of errors. This is deliberate across the board. And if you and I understand these things, again, that puts you and I in a very advantageous position here, realizing what we are, are going to do about it, the action that we are going to take together here. You understand? Let them play their games. I've been telling you this for over a decade. We will continue to play our games because we are way smarter than they are. They don't realize. Do you, do you understand that you, by following this blog, are one of the super elites? Because you have a brain. You can think. You realize what's happening to you. And more importantly, you're taking action. You understand? This isn't a channel for people who want to be entertained, people. I don't know how to tell you this again. This is for people of action, my lions out here, my friends, my lions. Look, they're trying to destroy us. And if you don't see that by now, if you think this is all just kind of some kind of conspiracy that everything we're seeing here is by accident, then, uh, then you're in the wrong place. Then just stop watching this video right now. But if you have an understanding of what's going on and why, who the real government of the world is, then it makes you it makes it easy to understand what you need to do. Ballooning debts and deficits. We have freak one freak telling you that the debt is sustainable, we, although we know it's not. Okay, this is not sustainable. This mechanism here is going to get much much worse. Just, just count on it. Okay, so what does that mean for you and me? We are going to take action. We're not going to sit back and do nothing. We're going to stay long the stock market. As long as the MMRI remains its current trajectory, people, let me just show you this one more time. As long as this remains that, going lower, we are going to stay long this market, period. And I promise to keep all of you on top of this. As long as this mechanism continues, and it's going to, as we need to, again, be taking the opposite side of that trade. If we realize that global debt is going to hyper-balloon even further from here, things like currency devaluation, rate suppression, central banks overpowering the system, issuing their product to us that we're forced to, tr to transact in, what do you want to do about it? Okay, again, nothing's going to change for you and me by, again, betting against the debt, becoming our own central bank, silver, my favorite asset of all time bar none here. You want to bet against the debt? You acquire more of this. Silver, gold, that's my second favorite. Platinum, palladium, number three, equal. Commodities across the board, including crude oil. You have to buy, you have to get long this stuff, people. These are real things, they're priced in dollars. The dollar is being decimated along with other central bank issued notes. You know that. Isn't it clear to you now what you should be doing? You understand? See what I'm saying? I think we're on the same page. All right, people, look, I covered a lot with you. And for those of you that asked me about this, I hope I answered your question. A little disappointing here with Mike Maloney talking about an election. He knows there's no election. It is a selection. He also understands clearly that we are in a banking crisis. The fact of the matter is, it is a clear and present danger. And if, if you haven't yet gotten your cash out of the, major, out of the, uh, out of the banking system, and, and done something else with it, then I don't know what to tell you. Only keep what you need in these institutions here. Get your cash out of the smaller and regional institutions. Get it out. Put it into a credit union. These are safer. They are not safe. Or if you have to, 
a couple of the mega institutions that aren't going anywhere. JP Morgan's probably one of them. I still feel that Bank of America is in a deep shape um, and will probably be the fall guy on Wall Street. But again, who's going to pay for all this? You are. And you're paying for it right now. All right, people, look, that's pretty much it. I'm going to let you all go. But I will see you later. It's, it's so glad. I'm, I'm so happy to be back with you, seriously. So 4.05 p.m. Eastern for my live stream. I hope to see all of you there All right, for that live stream. And we'll cover this. Whatever they want to throw at us later. And, and believe me, they are not done. This guy here loves you a lot. I'll see you later.